are talking Crocodilus mating season. And this is a 2023 movie, which is a follow-up from a 2017 movie simply called Crocodilus. And I have reviewed that one on the channel. You can check the review out right here. Anyway, uh, this one. So it's a kind of loose follow-on. It doesn't exactly follow the same characters or anything. Effectively, in uh, the 2017 movie, there was a kind of crocodile, alligator-type humanoid creature. And um, this movie takes place some years after this incident, and it's a uh, effectively a new alligator creature, crocodile creature, uh, that is attacking the locals. And it focuses on this detective, this private investigator, as he is trying to help this woman find her missing brother. And uh, we uncover a variety of different other characters along the way, including some type of experimental uh, institution that are doing um, things with these uh, crocodilist creatures. What will happen? You will have to watch the movie and find out. So, I should point out this is a comedy, first and foremost, not to be watched if you are watching, wanting to watch a serious science fiction horror film. It is a comedy, first and foremost. Okay. It's also extraordinarily low budget. They've got it out of the way. So this very much plays like a schlocky, silly B-movie that knows it's a, sh a schlocky, silly B-movie and is playing up to it. A little bit like um, the Mark Polinia sort of style of movies in some ways. I personally probably prefer this one a little bit than the Polinia style type movies. But why? What did I like about this film? Now, I, I will say, I think this movie has some funny jokes in it. Uh, it's quite thick and fast in regards to the humour. There's quite a lot of jokes. And humour by its nature is subjective. So not everyone is going to find certain jokes funny. But I did find some jokes funny here. It is a, a movie that kind of speaks to my sense of humour in a way because I enjoy things like an amusing play on words and things like this. Um, and double entendres and innuendos and things. And, and, and this movie does have a lot of that. Some of the movie is, is broader. Some of the kind of the comedy is broader. But there is uh, some, some jokes here that I thought were genuinely kind of quite funny. So, so there is that. The movie, although it's very sort of silly and schlocky and you can't really take it seriously, sometimes even being somewhat spoof-like, it does have a plot that's kind of like reminiscent of a cross between like a werewolf movie and the creature from the Black Lagoon, but has that sort of 50s, uh, you know, kind of silly science fiction movie vibe. But there is a there is a, there is a plot that does have characters. It does have reveals. So that's the, there's a certain you know a certain amount of story to this film. Um, there are a few shots here that I thought genuinely looked quite good as well in regards to the cinematography. And again, I'm judging this based on the very low budget that it is. But there's one or two shots here where yeah the costumes don't look realistic. But I kind of like the way they were shot. Let me let me kind of put it like that. And yeah, some of the kind of the, the action is silly, but it's very inventive at times. So there's that as well. For example, you'll have scenes where like the camera is in the mouth of this crocodilus creature. So you're sort of seeing it from uh, the jaws kind of point of view, if that makes sense, that are clamping down on uh, various kind of victims and things like this. And uh, you know, there's a few homages to certain kind of classic uh, horror monsters and stuff. What doesn't work, as much as I found this movie funny at times, I think the general um, silliness of it does kind of wear a little thin as the film goes on. It is funny at times, but because it's such a sort of like a spoof movie, I think, to be honest with you, I, the, the narrative doesn't really capture you because you can't really grasp onto the narrative because the movie is so silly. Uh, and although it does have a, you know, a plot with characters that have a somewhat of an arc, it's filled up with such goofiness and such, like, silly humour, 
you can never really buy into the character. I think maybe it 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 could have pulled back on the humor a bit and and actually had it a little bit more um, where you can kind of have a little bit more of a a, a, a connection with the character, so to speak. As it as it stands now, you know, it, it's somewhat departed. I mean, if you like spoof movies, you know, the Naked Gun films and things like that. I mean, it's not quite that. But there, there is that sort of level of humour. Now, I, I've, to be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of, of spoof for humour. But this isn't as inventive as those of like, you know, Repossessed, uh, Dracula Dead and Loving It, The Naked Gun. Because this doesn't have the budget to do those kind of crazy kind of set pieces and things like that. This is very much just uh, a, a kind of a very B-movie in regards to its resources. Uh, the creature itself, I mean... You didn't see nearly as much of it in the first movie, uh, and I think maybe less would have been more. I mean, you, you see plenty of these kind of um, these creatures, and it looks like the Gorn from uh, the original Star Trek series, to be honest with you. Uh, and it's about as uh, realistic as that. In actual fact, probably the Gorn maybe was a little better in regards to the kind of the, the creature effects, if we're being completely honest. But yeah, it kind of looks like you've got a Gorn wandering around directly from this 60s Star Trek show. Um, as I said, the characters just seem a little bit paper thin because they're, they're played more for laughs and only having kind of real characters and things like this. Uh, and I have to say, I think it's had some fun ideas, but it just got tiresome after a while, to be honest with you. I wasn't really that kind of... Um, super interested in the plot or, or, or kind of where it was going because I just felt the movie was spinning its wheels a little bit but it's kind of fun I think had this been like a, a section in a uh, an anthology or something like that maybe it, it would hit a little harder and be a bit more enjoyable as it stands at the moment it feels like it's the, the concept is a little stretched out but I gotta say I did somewhat enjoy some of the jokes here, but go into it thinking this is more of a comedy than an actual kind of horror or science fiction movie, and that's the, probably the best way to enjoy this. I'll give it a four out of 10. I didn't think it was a terrible film. It had some amusing moments, and you know, I, I kind of liked some elements of it, but I, I wouldn't say certainly it's, um, you know, uh, uh, anything other than that, really. So it's four out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think? Leave me a comment, and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.